jumping into this, we thought about the 12 barrel because we're thinking something compact. Well, 12 is as short as we want to go. Uh, just from, from some of the velocity testing we've done in the past, and what we're going to do too is that, I mean, we're going to we'll have the ammo discussion here later, but we will, part of this process is we have to crown the gun. And then at the end result, our expectation, yeah, we want a 600 yard gun. If it doesn't come that way, I mean, we're going to say, hey, based on everything we've done before, this would be the maximum length for this type of sure. or application. Yeah. And hey, that's why we do this kind of stuff. Um, so talking points, obviously. So now let's talk into, uh, so we got barrel length, we got, you know, optics, um, ammunition, ammunition. So one thing from uh, just from what we do here, 5.56 five, chamber has to be. Yeah. That's where we're going to get our most velocity. Those you all know, chronoing 5.56 five, compared to 2.23. Mm. Obviously, 5.56, five, you're going to get more velocity. So already right now we need we need velocity on this gun right shorter need, barrel we need, a hotter round. we need hot rounds so uh anything you recommend brandon uh what are we what are we using on duty that uh the 62 grain tactical bonded yeah um, what, ultimately what's going to happen is you, the end user is going to have to go out with a whole bunch of different rounds and see what the what yeah. the barrel actually likes because right. again if you're if you're watching these videos you're probably one of those first time shooters or trying to figure out how to better set up whatever gun you yeah. have or maybe you see like different discrepancies and and this ammo and this ammo and this ammo, and maybe you're trying to figure out like, what is it? Well, different barrels are going to have different length barrels, different yeah. makes of barrels are gonna have different rounds that they like and what they don't like. And I think you can agree. One thing is go out get a couple different rounds that you plan on using, even if it's just your training ammo, sure. throw yeah. your training ammo in there. If you can chrono it, chrono it, great. If you can't, you know, go buy what's on the box and best, uh, yeah. best average guess that you can, go on forum, see what other people are using yeah. Yeah. and find the round that the gun right. actually likes. And you're right. So in barrel lengths for us too, we found that some ammunition will do will perform better than some others. And but you're actually right. You gotta find that right. You have to find the right ammunition. And you can sit here and say, what what ammo do you use? Yeah. What's the best one that you use? Well, what am I doing? What's my yeah. purpose? Am I trying to penetrate anything? Or, yeah. You know, and then what what gun am I actually using? Cause yeah, because there's also you know how you want to you know projectile to maintain all its weight. Right. You don't want it to separate, or spread out. All that stuff's going to come into consideration of what you want to use it for. Um, plus, well, I mean, ultimately, mm -hmm. it, it all comes down to that old saying of this is my rifle, there are many like it, but this one is mine. Uh, yeah. Your rifle that may be produced the same way may just like a different ammo. Yeah. It, you know, so I think that's a luxury that you have as a, as a civilian or as a, a personal end user yeah. is that you can go out and you can really, you can, you can do yeah. hand loads. I mean, you could really work down a, a, a perfect pre-corona. Pre yeah, pre -corona. Can, yeah, pre-corona. You, <laughs> you can work out a perfect load yeah. for your gun, yeah. and it will work phenomenally out of your yeah. gun, but it may not work phenomenally out yeah. of mine. And, and all your reloaders out there, you know exactly what we're talking about, yeah. because you guys will find that perfect sweet spot that works good in your weapon. And and you brought up an, and you brought up an interesting point before this video, and it's something that we, the whole reason when we were talking about the A3 mm -hmm. in the beginning, strictly close in gun because mm -hmm. of the velocity. Mm -hmm. But the whole reason we came on that people, when we throw out that A3, people are like, just use 300 blackout, just use, well, you gotta understand, like, law enforcement agencies, or some departments, or, you can't go to that. or this, you can't just jump into a new round. You can't even jump into a different brand. Right. You can't even jump from irons to an RDS. Yeah, you can't even do that. They're gonna give you, no, this you is your ammo, yeah. this is your training ammo, this is your doing ammo, that's all you got. And the whole reason you came with the A3 is, okay, well, let's find a solution mm -hmm. that can, you know, compact, discreet, but it's still going to give you a good benefit, obviously, with the short, with the uh, shortest barrel as we can go possible. And, that, and we found the A3 is the shortest we can go, right? Without with getting good velocity out of certain majority of duty ammunition, right? And well, so it's what, funny and, what you just yeah. said. You just you just mentioned something that a lot of people don't realize that we do: a training yeah. ammo versus a duty ammo. Yeah. What we train with, what we shoot with regularly, is completely different than what we shoot yeah. on duty, right? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, because duty ammo is so stinking expensive. Yeah, expensive. So they can't afford to give us thousands and thousands and yeah. thousands of rounds of duty ammo. And there's a huge discrepancy between our training ammo and the duty ammo. Right. right. So if I'm going to go out to the range and I really want to push my gun and see what its capabilities are, Kinda how am I going to do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So you got to go buy it on your own. Right. And which a lot of, I, and, and unfortunately, like, well, the good thing, I, it sucks having to go do that. But at the same time, like a lot of people take the initiative to, Hey, if I have to pay extra to be better, then they're gonna do it. Exactly. It's just, you, you know, a lot of people out the military and a lot of law enforcement agencies know you, there's equipment that you want that's gonna make your job better. You just have to buy it. I mean, yeah. we've all been there before. But that, but, but that ultimately mm -hmm. comes up to the next point that we were talking about before the video. Yeah. Is that sometimes you have the luxury of building and finding the ammo that works for your build. Yeah. 
And other times you don't have that luxury and you have to find the build that works with your ammo. True. Yeah, and, then, and you told me a scenario, a certain scenario with a certain web manufacturer where that manufacturer, your department ended up buying it because mm -hmm. it shot your, your issued ammo with the best. Right, and so what a lot of people don't realize is that for law enforcement, law enforcement agencies, local, federal, whatever it may be, a lot of times they find an ammo yeah. that performs the way that they want. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's through uh, yeah. maintaining uh, shape, size, yeah. and velocity, through different barriers or barricades yeah. or something like that, whether it, it be car windshields, ballistics. you know, yeah, it's the Focus continuation the of, of, yeah. of the terminal ballistics of the round. And so then it becomes, okay, this is the round that we yeah. like. It performs, we trust it, we know it will do yeah. what we need it to. Now we need to find a gun that will shoot it to the performance level that we want. Well, yeah. a lot of people also don't understand that you're talking about the one to 5% of law enforcement agencies that have the backing, the budget, the city council that will do that. Oftentimes it's, hey, here's the round that we want and here's the rifles that we can afford. Right. Yeah. Make make it work. Yeah, make it work. And, some, and sometimes, and, I, and I've been that whole process where departments change over and they'll ask us or they'll ask other people. Mm -hmm. And that's that point in time when they do that changeover, that's when you really got to start laying down the information. And for all you weapon, and, and it's another time, like a lot of people, a lot of weapon manufacturers out there, and, and this is a, it's a good point to have, and, and we do this too. So for, for all those out there, like those FFLs out there or manufacturers, um, you know, other companies that are, uh, looking to as far as make weapons for law enforcement and you do that whenever they uh, You know uh, request a T&E &E or whatever they do Always request like see if they can give you some duty ammo of that They use for testing or try to find it online and buy something similar or contact the rep Honestly their reps can do a lot for you if you find out they're using a brand like Hornady Find a Hornady rep in your area mm -hmm. and they can they can help you out and you just have to explain what they're doing And that's just that's just like a tip because we've done that too in process and what we did with one department is that we chronoed their ammo out of mm -hmm. the certain length of barrel and that ammunition did very poorly mm -hmm. out of a shorter barrel because of the, the these, and some of these ammunitions, they're, they're specced out and the velocities right. are for a 16 inch patrol rifle. Yep. They don't take account for SWAT guns right. or you know something that's a little more specialized. So that was one thing that we discovered with the one department and now they're changing. Yeah. And they're, and they're shopping around, they're doing their due diligence because they were, they were already running short guns, and they bought short guns from us, and then when we got their duty ammo, accuracy was great, but when we chronoed it, I was just like, well, this is not good. Right. Because another brand with the same specs chronoed a lot faster. Right. So what's that tell you? you know, the powders are different. How are right. you even doing this? How are you yeah. actually operating? What are you guys shooting out to? Oh, well, we're on our law enforcement rifle. How's it go? It goes up to 25 yards. Yeah. Right. And like I said, you want velocity. Yeah. I mean, I can't stress enough on your on this platform with that cal 556 you you want velocity yeah, and it's what right. makes the difference in the effectiveness of the round yeah well what was it that a3 the day we went and shot all the a3s mm -hmm. uh we had an a3 and i threw an eotech and a magnifier on i've got a zero in at 25 yards yeah. thing. and what i was literally struggling i was struggling to arc that round out to what like 500 <laughs> I, I was trying, I was like, Hey man, I was, I was like, dude, I was like, man, my man. zero, like my <laughs> zero on and then it's like yeah. impact, impact, ground, yeah. ground, ground. I'm like, man, this thing really, so there is a true difference yeah. between your, you know, your short guns, yeah. like your eight, eight threes, mm -hmm. moving up to your 12 fives and, your, and, and, on, <laughs> and so on. It's, it's, that was it's pretty true. cool though. When you're doing it, I was like, dude, get it, get after it. But, and I, but I've done that like, same thing in the past. Like, um, you know, uh, Jim, uh, Smith was out there teaching me about holds and he was like, Shoot that 10, 10 five, see how far you can get it. Mm -hmm. But I remember the hold on that red dot was freaking crazy yeah. as compared to two shooting like a rifle. Over. Oh yeah, two, two bodies over. Two bodies over, it's like, holy crap. But it really, you know, the whole velocity thing's a real thing and that yeah. arc becomes, uh, you know, gradually steeper. Yep. Um, but yeah, so that's a, so good talking point on ammo. I think uh, I have some ammo stored away for this video. So I know the ammo crazies right now, but there's particular ammo that we've probably before. Talking, you don't have any ammo. Don't Sorry, I don't. You're looking for I don't have them. Yeah, this doesn't is, exist. Doesn't, doesn't exist here. But <laughs> there are some duty rounds we use in the past in Chrono that we have left over from a lot of testing. Yeah. That will that obviously I'd rather dedicate to this project because in the sense that people who are buying our firearms, sure. I want them to be more educated. Know yeah. and when ammo does calm down a little bit, which it kind of we've already been through this, it does it a lot. Uh, you can find some really good ammo. Yeah. 